The exhibition is called Circus. It's a project we shot between 2006 and 2008. It's a colour figurative series um, based around the circus troupe based on Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We've been photographing a lot of athletes. What happens to athletes when they stop competing? You know, they become coaches or they become fat or, you know, they become circus performers. The two main parts of the project, I would say, are um, the portraiture, a lot of which, um, I mean, these are indoor portraits, but a lot of them are actually outside among the rides of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, but in full costume. And then also performance, where we actually show the functionality of these people um, and their extraordinary talent and gift and the results of all their hard work. We learn about their personalities, about how they live together, you know, they have this sort of very family quality about them, you know, um, and also about, you know, their, their interests and their excitement, you know, being a performer, you know, the struggle they, you know, they go through. They have to display an almost insolent grace and artistry at the end of the day, um, but it doesn't come cheap. The price they pay is huge, both physically and mentally, and, and personally as well. It's not an easy life, and what they do is quite extraordinary. I think they were quite fascinated. They've never seen themselves being immortalised you know, on print. Um, and some of them, like some of the more um, beautiful execute uh, uh, imagery, and they kind of recognise that they have certain muscles on their backs that which they'd never seen before. So they were quite fascinated with that you know, physicality of it. They, they get to see, literally, they get to see a side of themselves they don't normally see, which is how they look when they're suspended mm. from a back view. Mm. And no performer normally would see that. So yeah. that was well, quite interesting. Yeah. The girl sitting on the steps there uh, with the chandelier behind, she said we captured the kind of slightly melancholy, introspective feeling that she has just before she goes on stage. And she said that she didn't almost realise she had that feeling until we'd photographed it and she'd seen it, but then she realised that's exactly how she... That, that was displaying exactly how she feels before a performance. Well, the space is so unconventional in the sense that it draws you the creative energy, you know, and we have never created in, in the sense, you know, it's not a cute space, it's not a box space. Actually, the venue, the, the space we've been given has really enhanced what we wanted to do with it and we've found ways to be very creative within that space. I'm really, really proud of how the display looks, actually. I mean, one of the nice things about it being in the Lowry is obviously, you know, it's one of the great theatres in England and certainly in the northwest. And it's really nice to have this performance-based project actually displayed within a theatre, but at the same time, not just kind of on stands in the hallway, but done in a proper exhibition space, a proper gallery. I mean, it's a real thrill for us.